welcome back my dear students i'm your science teacher ms zena khan and i'm glad to meet you again on this virtual platform i know you had a great days uh, during your summer vacation and uh, many of you did very beautiful and amazing work which i really want to appreciate but now it's time to focus on your studies and it's time to join back your online classes again so yesterday we had a puzzle and riddle session in our previous video which was very interesting i know and uh, now it's time to reveal the answer and the first answer is bones and the second one is our skeletal system i know many of you guessed it right in the comment box which is uh, really very good and excellent for that but students today we are going to do something very different but before that do not forget to like and subscribe my channel for latest updates and please don't forget to mention your name class and session in the comment box you know why because i want to mark your attendance which is again very important okay so without wasting any time you need to follow some rules for this particular online session so whenever you're watching any kind of video of any subject please keep your fair copy rough copy your textbook pencil and eraser with you to note down some very important information cuz classes are incomplete without study material and of course without the students and i know you all are very intelligent and you will follow your teachers command okay Hey kids, are you ready for some fun activities? Okay, so stand up first of all. Just uh, look out your body, and you need to follow the instructions given by me. Okay, and your time starts now. Jump five times. One, two, three, four, and five. Now rotate your head three times. like this 1 2 3 stop now look up and then straight and then down now bend your body towards your right side like this and similarly bend your body towards your left side now move your shoulders three times 1 2 and 3 wow that's great well done clap for yourself i know you all did it very properly and you shouldn't forget this routine in your daily life so i have a question for you and my question is what holds your body upright or allows you to bend walk or perform different kind of activities can you think think it well the answer is our skeletal system we are going to explore more and more about skeletal system students before moving on let's write down the syllabus for the month of july and for that you need to take out your fair notebook Please mention the date, class work, syllabus for the month of July. That is chapter number four, our skeletal system, and chapter number five, our nervous system. Both the chapters will be covered in the month of July only. Do not forget to make teacher signature box and parent signature box. So follow the same pattern. and just take it easy i'm going to provide all the syllabus and the written work on your school website in the pdf form all right let's begin with our new chapter that is chapter number 4 our skeletal system so we are going to learn more and more about skeletal system in upcoming videos but in my previous video i gave you one homework to take the organ system which they belong to 
and here we are having answer the lungs belong to the respiratory system the brain belongs to the nervous system the heart belongs to the circulatory system and the stomach belongs to the digestive system so here is your answer for this particular question you must be wondering about that we are going to study about the skeletal system but then also it's mentioned all about organs why is it so so you need to wait cuz i'm going to tell it all about after a few minutes so it's very important for you to know about organs or internal organs so the definition of organs you must be aware of that is uh, various body structures uh, that perform different kind of functions they are known as organs and uh, they are made up of different kind of uh, tissues for example heart pancreas stomach small intestine lungs liver diaphragm and large intestine these all are your internal organs and the word internal means they are present inside the body okay they are not visible to us and they are present inside the body and they of course they are protected with the help of skeletal system so you all can note it down in your rough copy okay kids let's step into the world of skeletal system and i really want that the topic of this chapter should be clear in front of you because i'm going to explain the basic details of skeletal system and the word should be clear as per this chapter here you can see we are having two words skeletal and system so both are different and both are having different meanings so skeletal means framework or structure okay and system means group of things that work together to perform important functions you can also note it down in your rough copy and now i'll explain all about skeletal system we find most of the body system hard and bony cause they are made up of bones you can see everything is made up of bones and this is your whole skeletal system the framework of bones is called the skeleton these together make up skeletal system and our body is having 206 bones all in all so different types of bones you can find in the skeletal system which are of different sizes and shapes this bone is different this bone is different and the rest others are also different from each other okay basically the skeletal system provides shape and support to the whole body that's why we are able to stand in a very straight position and we all are able to move we are able to walk from one place to another just because of skeletal system cause uh, the bones helps us to move and the movement of the bones allow us to perform different kind of activities and one more main function of the skeletal system is to protect the internal organs which are very soft and delicate so it protects all the internal organs from various kind of damages or injuries see the outer one is your skeletal system and the inner portion they are your these all are your internal organs and they are very well protected inside skeletal system what a beautiful house this is the perfect example to explain skeletal system to you okay uh such a beautiful house you all can see 
and this is the framework of this particular house without the structure without the framework house will not be able to stand properly and you can see the pillars important metal work and uh, cemented walls over here and many more things like gates windows these are all included in the framework of this house let's move on to the next example this is again very vibrant and uh, very famous car this is the internal structure of the car this is the framework without this framework this car won't be able to look like the way it is looking just now so this car and this beautiful house is just like our body and the framework of this house and the framework of this car is just like the skeletal system or the structure of the particular thing which is helping something to stand in a very good position and the internal material of this car for example engine and uh, uh, some wires batteries various other things they are considered as internal organs so internal things are very well protect protected just because of the outer framework and the structure of this particular car so i hope you all understood the concept very well related to this skeletal system so as of now you all are very well familiar with the word skeleton and skeletal system so let's revise and uh, you can note it down in your rough copy as well skeleton means the framework of bones okay and when skull backbone or you can call it as spine rib cage or limbs and girdles are combined together they are known as skeletal system okay so in skeletal system we have skull backbone rib cage limbs and girdles and the framework of bones is known as skeleton this is very important so students we talked a lot about bones in this chapter that is our, our skeletal system and i want you to search out the definition of bones and you will note it down in your rough copy and in my upcoming video i'll be giving you a detailed information regarding bones and various skeleton system parts so till then stay healthy stay safe keep shining keep smiling and keep learning take care goodbye